Hi, we are back. And Jessica, let me go to you and ask you about. Uh, I'm sorry, Jennifer. Let me go to you and ask you about this issue of. They have in a report that he's mentally ill. Yes. That he's unstable. Yes. And he gets a gun. Yes. If we're going to do background checks, you would think something like that should be in the report. You would think so. And, you know, the, I think that the anti-gun control lobby is um, quite irrational in, in this country at this point. You have, in Virginia, gun shops giving away free gun raffles right, right. after this Because Mayor Bloomberg happened. came out against right. the trafficking of guns from state to state. Right. So and what, and not only yeah. trafficking, but he came out, he's suing uh, gun shops in states like Virginia that have loosened and flouted uh, yeah. regulations and sell uh, in, in illegal yeah. ways. And so they're saying, instead of saying, okay, yeah, we're going to uh, yeah. comply with gun control book regulations that are on the books, we're just going to give away free guns yeah. now. Well, in this case, though, there's, in, this, in the case with Cho, there's very little communication between the criminal justice system and the mental health system. And furthermore, when he was diagnosed with whatever mental illness he had, it was done on the, you know, between the university, there was no reason for them to have reported that to the state at this point. So he complied with, you know, I'm not certainly not defending this, but it's easy to Monday morning quarterback in a situation like this. It's easy to second guess. I, I, I would actually concur with Alan that if people that have mental illnesses, you know what, I think they that should show up on a report. And then it must be separately but evaluated. In his case, but in his case, that it was not, it had not gone through the, uh, the, the court. I mean, I know that a Virginia court of law yeah. did indeed determine the magistrate that. Did right, that right. However, if you read it carefully, it says that he was, not that he was in imminent danger to others. He, the ruling, no, 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 no. The ruling in his case, it says mm -hmm. imminent danger to others or to himself. He was the severely, was he was severely depressed. Oh, and, so, so, and then also, and then the girl. Time. I, I, I think, think we got to run. I thank you very much, Jennifer Crystal. Thank you very much. That's all the time we have left. Uh, 